Schultz. We've seen him sub in a couple of times mid-series. He will start this series for the UCF Knights. We'll see how it works out as Akron looks to get their 12th win of the season. Kristen knocked away by Rain. It'll be Snipes shot. It's on target from long range. Reticence makes the initial stop. Another ball down in front and Snipes comes up empty. Tristan was lining up the block. He went downfield. That means he'll still be down there for say an outlet pass from Reticent. Over one, Woo. but there's Rain in support. And that's who you're really going to have to lean a lot on, as usual. Rain, the man with the plan. On the defensive side, he's going to have to be. As Tristan, not the world's greatest challenge, takes a real bad skip. And Akron haven't played a fair amount of defense here to start off game one, but able to consistently find the big clears and give themselves a bit of space. Kristen hard out of the corner. Buzz's shot is blocked away, and the follow-up just bounces around. Tristan can follow this up oh, and touch it. that in on the upper corner. Now look at the twist here from Tristan. He gets this chip up and the hard, like, rotate to get straight horizontal, parallel with the ground, to dodge the demo or at least the bump that was coming out of him for the challenge on the goal allows him to continue that trajectory and squeeze that ball in between the corner. There are very few like him, but Rain is gonna try to match what Tristan's gonna bring for Akron as he gets a great pass from oh, Bits yeah. and Buzz <laughs> is left in an impossible spot. Yeah, Buzz is absolutely dead there. I mean, you get a pass like that that's just scooped off the backboard like that. As long as it's placed on the left side, he's never reaching it. Great pass and shoot from UCF. Tristan over to Reticence. We'll see if all three get involved in the play for Akron on this trip down the field. Well, we will see. They did not. Rain out of the corner. Looking to center again and just push that all the way across. Buzz going to have to burn some boost to get there. Reticence, I think, was looking for him, but Buzz did not stay. That's a decent ball to get by Rain, but Tristan can't play any further. Could have stayed downfield if Reticence had that big clear, but instead it's Buzz. Over one and almost through another. Snipes making a big stop as UCF continues to battle Akron here in game one. Yeah, real nice job on defense from UCF so far in game one. They've got great timing and their approaches have looked good. And I may have to eat a couple words. UCF definitely look like they can hang with Akron here in this series, but we're still early. We're not even halfway through game one yet. Bits coming on. Snipes will have to rush back as Reticence has a quick turn at midfield. Rain having a tough time with that ball in the corner. Oh, they were trying to hit Tristan. They have to settle for Buzz, and his shot's blocked by Snipes. They're going to look for Buzz again. All the way Ooh. across field. Reticence for the lead, and he scores! Oh, wow! That goes all the way back to Tristan actually faking that touch across the box. They were looking for Tristan, but Tristan had the presence of mind to let that ball roll and give it to Reticence. Reticence threw it back to Buzz. Buzz threw it off the wall. Tristan is just rotated out and lets Reticence take a beautiful shot off the wall. Fantastic coordination from Akron there. So often we talk about changing fields, moving left to right, all the way across the field. To change what the defense is looking at and make them burn boost all Ooh. rain just ran out of time but there's <gasps> Snipes no. he'll just come up nobody went for the ball no reticence is right on it he was hovering at first because he thought someone was going to be right on it and he ran out of boost at the last second before Snipes got there and Reticence was just so ready for someone to be right on that ball that he just tried to hover in front of it, and he just oh, fell off it. They goodness. get it back on the kickoff, though. Reticence just pushes this ball through Snipes, and Tristan is able to go around Bits, who was cheating just a little too hard. And you could see even Bits made a turn at the last moment. He saw Tristan realize, uh-oh, and tried to just clip him. Did not make contact, and it's an open net for Tristan to get that goal right back. It's Akron back in front, but not for long. Whee! Rain answers again. Like Rain trist testing Tristan here. And this is all on Reticence. Can you get the clear? And that's a great read, and Rain doesn't even think about it. Goes right at him, but he does it with such force 
that Tristan doesn't have the space to cover the gap in time after he figures out the trajectory of the ball. Nice hard shot. Can always get the job done. Fitz and Reticence clash at midfield. It will be Tristan's ball, and there is Rain to meet him. Man, oh man. This has been a fun battle to watch, and we're only two and a half minutes, three and a half minutes into this series. Fuzz, hard out of the corner, it's coming right back in. Rain has snipes, waiting in midfield. Pitts coming up as well. He'll have to make a turn at midfield to try and stay with this play, and Reticence nice. knocks him right back to the wall. And that bump allowed Buzz to get that nice free clear, and that's a dangerous pass. Snipes trying to stay with it. This is a tough one to defend, and he just couldn't hang on here. Kind of hits the brakes at the back post, sees that strong pass. He takes a guess at where he was going to shoot the ball, but Tristan continued on by. Snipes, that's a tough one to play, and he couldn't quite get there. Tristan's got a hat trick, but every time he scored so far, Rain has answered immediately. Won't happen this time as Rain is chasing down Buzz, and Buzz barely got that ball back towards the back wall. Tristan, oh, he at least got by the defense, but was forced to throw that ball to the corner. Bits coming on. Buzz is there as well. Oh, Bits <gasps> kind of got caught in between, oh, but Tristan yeah. could not find the angle. Here goes Snipes. Waiting for Bits to respawn. He is back in the play, but UCF in kind of an awkward spot as they try to get that goal right back with less than a oh, minute to go. Goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> UCF, take a deep breath, guys. You don't have to panic. 45 seconds, while not a lot of time to work with, is plenty. Just don't lose your heads here. You still got a chance. You get the sense. They are trying to do a little too much. They're going for that kind of home run highlight reel play. Buzz. Oh, that's not great. Uh, but he, I think he got in Snipes' his way just enough. Rain will try to play keep away. But Triss has got this one red. And he forced everybody back expecting a pinch. This could still work out. Snipes it. on target. And we're tied. Snipes will indeed find the back of the goal here. Bits just able to win the race, but the read, he had to get up so early to make sure he was going to beat the Akron defense, and Snipes will deliver a huge goal. People forget, sure, we kind of refer to Snipes as a sub. He was the guy for Central Florida during the CCA Summer Series. This is bounce downfield. Tristan and Buzz will play that to the corner. There's a chance for UCF to steal this in regulation, but they'll have to do oh, it without no snipes way. if we go to overtime. They call him the super sub for a reason. He calls himself the super sub for a reason. And right now it's looking true. He's got two goals and two big saves. So could snipes find another one or get it into a scorable spot? Either way, UCF a chance to start out ahead, but right now it's an awkward situation on defense for him. This goes all the way across. It'll kick right back out for nobody. There's nobody made contact oh, and nobody's him. home. Radisson scores on an open net for Akron to escape game one. You can always trust Reticence. Big double commit there from UCF, and that is frustrating to deal with. You played so well to keep it tight going into overtime, and you fall to a mistake like that. Bits is just off on the Akron side collecting a boost pad because he's got two people behind him. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the answer is the ball just falls right into the middle of the field for Reticence to go and pick one up and take it into the net. That's got to feel great for Reticence. MVP caliber performance in game one. And he scores maybe the toughest goal in all of Rocket League. The open net in OT. And now we look ahead to game two with UCF battling for all they were worth in that game. I mean, every time Akron went ahead, in particular, every time Tristan scored, Rain was right there for an answer just about. Yeah. Now they've got to reset after coming up just short after a hard-fought game one and battled yet again against Akron here at the Forbidden Temple. And you know, the interesting thing about watching Akron play is because everybody saw what Tristan was capable of that first year he played at Akron and what kind of things he could pull off, that it's interesting to watch literally every team that plays against him. When he goes for the ball, everyone assumes he is going to hit it. <laughs> And that allows him so much field presence. People will leave a challenge that they should go for. It's because they think Tristan's going to hit it. 
and you can watch every team, UCF included, they did it in game one, that if Tristan is up before them, they all think he's going to hit it, and he makes a big save here. Little off the mark as they left the door open. Some chaos back around midfield, and Buzz is going to score on an empty net. I don't know if there was a bump on Bits, yeah, but reticence. he was, yeah, he was just flying out of control. Yep, Reticence put Bits all the way up to the moon with that touch. Caught him right as he jumped, and that sent him way further than he was hoping for. Made it easy for Buzz back the other way, and maybe off the kickoff here, assuming Rain doesn't get a hold of it just enough. A reticence didn't do his team any favors there. Rain has snipes. Oh, what a stop by Tristan. That was 2v1 and the one Rain Supreme. They got him Back again. the other way. They caught him again. Buzz with another easy goal here. It just takes a favorable skip. Fitz misses the double tap and Rain realizes too late. He has gone one step too far and Buzz made him pay. It's fish in a barrel in the first minute plus for Akron. They try to pull away from UCF. They know that this team can fight them. Tristan now. Oh, he could gear this back on target. No, it's going to be off to the side. And uh, what a second touch by Bitch. That forces that, uh, UCF. No, Akron all the way back. Let me get these names right eventually. It's Tristan. <laughs> the, the team that's winning is probably Akron more often than not. Just remember that. So far. 11-0. Yeah. They don't do many things wrong as oh, Tristan really no racing for the no, ball. Oh, no! No! <laughs> UCF, the collapse. Tristan just dives at one. Bits immediately tries to run and play defense, and Tristan just drips it off the nose, and it ends up getting own gold. Oh, it hurts your soul if you're a Knights fan. You, you said it right at the start of this game when they see Tristan, of all people, go for the ball. Oh! He's just clearly going to hit it. And then sometimes he doesn't. Or he doesn't hit it cleanly. He's certainly going to hit this one cleanly and it's 4-0. Wow. Game two out of <laughs> hand. And, and it, it started in, I think, the worst possible way for UCF here in this game two. It, it's 4-0 with three minutes and I'm willing to call the game over already. I don't get to do that very often, but I feel you're about to witness the UCF implosion where it's like they lose game one on a wonderfully played game because of one mistake. They double committed, and that left Bits out of position, couldn't save the open net shot. And then game two starts, and the first thing they do is give up two completely wide open nets. And then you see Tristan score that goal as well, where he gets own goal, and it's like, oh gosh, UCF is about to just self-destruct here. That's what it feels like. Coming up on halftime, hey, they've only got nine goals to go to match what we saw out of Stockton. Buzz, blocked by Snipes. They've got to try and get that bin. That's kind of what you worry about, too, if UCF does even try to seriously come back in this game. They're going to have to throw... Caution to the wind. Reticence didn't have anybody up there to help him out. And when you kind of abandon defense, that's how 13 to 2 happens, or 4 <laughs> nothing becomes 10 nothing in a real hurry. They can feel that way, but I think well, right gonna get now, one. hey, look at that. <laughs> they caught Buzz one step too far this time. And you like to see it if you're UCF it's clearly not their favorite goal they've ever scored but you're not going to complain when you still have three to go with two minutes on the clock so UCF have a chance to stop the bleeding here I still think they're on the verge of collapse but if they get another one with plenty of time you might see a battle back well the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step they've got the first step out of the way can they get three more Reticence out of the corner, oh, give away to Snipes, and he puts hey. it right between the defenders. The journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, but the most important one is the next, and it is Snipes who drills one down the middle in between two defenders. UCF cut the lead to two, and they've got a lot of time to work with. A buck 55 as Bitch will get a shot Ooh. off the kickoff that Reticence <laughs> Had to address Rain. Oh, he almost got run Bang. into by Snipes. But it's Tristan who stops his shot. Then that challenge dumps this deeper into the UCF zone. Snipes battling with Reticence. He got nudged off the wall. So 
Rain had to stay home. That's certainly not where he wants to be. Wants to be downfield, helping UCF get right back in this game. Down to a minute 30. Rain to center this time for Vance. He couldn't steer it on target as Tristan was right there. Oh, man. I thought Bits was going to have the world's greatest pass. <laughs> oh, and it's a breakaway for Akron here. Snipes needs to play some time management. Tristan off the wall, and Reticence is wisely playing safe here, but he's got to fight a two-on-one. Dodges the demo and gets beat. Snipes will turn it in. It's three to four. You got 63 seconds, and the Warriors looking to prove me dead wrong. He had rain running interference, so Reticence had to go wide, and Snipes knew ground pinch to get a little extra push. 103. All of a sudden, this blowout has become a game, but that whiff could make things real difficult as Buzz gets one by bits at the end, and all that momentum may have just sailed away. Oh, Snipes, he knew it. He needed to hit that ball. He missed it, and if you just watched his car just fall slowly back to earth in his own self-misery, oh, that was the epitome of our body language telling you how that guy's feeling. Snipes has been simultaneously the best and worst thing that has happened to UCF in this game. <laughs> how about another Ooh. idiot makes up for it? <laughs> Can you, you got a crystal ball over there? <laughs> he comes up with a big whip and then just drills this to the back post. Reticence having to fight off the bump or at least the pressure from Rain opening the door for Snipes and again, Keeping it tight in game two. That is his sixth goal of this series. And he may get his seventh. No, he throws that up to the backboard. It's Bits trying to play hero, but that's blocked away by Tristan. Oh, Snipes was there. Ooh. Got a deflection and Rain jumped in front of Bits. Tristan didn't get rid of this ball. And oh. we are tied. How in the world? Akron get tied up in all kinds of knots here. This is such an awkward ball for them to handle. Nobody's even facing the right way. They elect to let Tristan because he's got the easiest touch. Rain jumps all over it as he wheeled around out of a corner, smashes one into the middle, and Akron are now thinking, hang on a second, we got to work to do now. Oh, and <laughs> then Tristan! It's like a game of horse, one upsmanship, and he comes through with this! The first touch and the flip reset, delaying it, holding onto it to make sure he can drill the ball through Snipes because that first touch pulls Snipes up early because he knows he can't allow Tristan to get up to the backboard. And Tristan demonstrating beautiful car control, wins two challenges in a row to put him back in the lead. Down to 10 seconds left. What else do we have in store in game two? Not much for bits as Buzz takes him off the field. Snipes has to try and get there. The ball does stay up, but that little bank. Nope, Snipes kept it in the air. Oh, he's flailing around. He couldn't get underneath it. Oh, and Akron, <laughs> they survive another one. And right now, if you're UCF achieves, the way these two games have gone, <laughs> good grief. We have had 20 goals in this series, and both games have been one goal games. How do you recover from being down 0-2 after that? Dude, you... Like I said, you know, I, I'm about to sound like a broken record. <laughs> game 2 starts off in the worst way after how Game 1 ended. And now I feel like Game 2 ends in the worst way after you fight all the way back. It's like, yes, we've tied it up. And then Tristan just instantly hits a short hop turns it into a flip reset and scores a game winner on you. And then it's like, oh my gosh. And now we're down 2-0 in this series. So I've already made the mistake of saying I felt like UCF were about to implode. But man, if you want to know what having to battle through the absolute worst of it every time looks like, this is it. <laughs> Good grief. Reticence will throw this out to the corner. Look, I've seen four goal comebacks, even in 3v3s, you know, uh, full send. But you'd expect <laughs> to see that out of like a salt mine match, not not a CRL yeah. match at this level, not from Akron losing a four nothing lead. And I say Akron losing a four nothing lead, it's more that UCF erased Took a it. four goal deficit <laughs> because they absolutely worked their tails off to get back in that game. 
and it still wasn't enough. And now they're just struggling to get out of their own zone, and this is how you fall behind like that. Buzz, drop off to Tristan, it's gonna stay a little, little bit high. Good off-ball defense, and now it'll be Snipes met by Reticence. A bit, so he had to get there in a hurry because Reticence was threatening to turn in. Oh, he's toast. <laughs> he would have been had Buzz it's got the shot like, on. I mean, UCF, I mean, Snipes is just trying to follow the challenges there. And Akron using some great misdirection on how they were going to set up that ball. Again, someone driving across and then leaving it for the person immediately behind them as Tristan is able to cover up a goal-scoring chance for the Knights. And his Bits is going to need some help here. This ball is thrown off to the side. Bits will try to play laterally for Rain. Won't be on target. But Buzz took his time. He called on, uh, called on Reticence to take that ball. Ooh. Now Rain just giving that one up to Tristan. But here comes UCF yet again. Bits in the corner. Needs Snipes to come up. Tristan beats him but does not beat Rain. And they got Tristan downfield. Maybe a chance to catch Akron out defensively. But it doesn't work out. There's Reticence, center ball for Buzz. Boy, he had to put the brakes on, but he got the read, and Akron's in front. Advantage of position goal here for Akron. Nothing else really need to be said. Rain and Snipes caught, trying to turn forward, not expecting that ball to go straight up, and to make matters worse, fell down in a dangerous position where it was a tough read to make. Buzz got to watch it develop in front of him instead of above his head. Able to get there sooner and turn it in. Tristan trying to score off the kickoff, and he's got just enough in the tank to make it work. And this is number seven in this series for Tristan. Boy, he is a marvel to watch at times. The car control. If, if you ever want to get as good at Tristan at Rocket League, don't sit there and grind dribbling and thinking about ball control. Think about car control. Know exactly which way to press to get your guard to do exactly what you want it. And that is what leads to great ball control. It's command over your vehicle. Rain shot blocked away by Reticence. Got this ball out to bits, but he missed on the shot. Missed everything. And then Rain comes to battle Tristan. And that'll be Snipes now. Didn't have... A lot of pace to dribble the ball downfield. Does drop this off to Bits. But Buzz is right there. Akron trying to control this. But, I mean, as we've learned, absolutely no lead is safe with UCF on the field. Even this three-goal lead that they're about to take as Buzz got the demolition <laughs> and he scores. I, I was wondering how you were going to transition that one. And I believe you made the right choice with this is definitely a three-goal lead. Again, UCF, they're trying to play so aggressive, trying to squeeze Akron back into their own half because that's what was paying them so many dividends in the previous game. At this time, they get a little too aggressive. They're late to a challenge. Buzz is able to find a demo and rips one towards the top left on the next kickoff. But, and this is really Akron's game to, to lose now. Only two minutes with a three-goal lead. No lead is safe for sure, but... It's not a lot of time to get three. Oh, Rain almost turned this in. It's still loose in front. And here we go again. Bit scores with 103 seconds left. It's, it's not a lot of time to get three, but now it's a lot of time to get two. Again, they just really make Akron have to make some awkward touches. And they're just not quite facing the right way to really get the power they need on those clears. And that's what's really making UCF so hard to put away is they're playing so aggressive at the midfield that when they win those challenges, they catch Akron having to play defense facing the wrong direction. Rain with a full take of boost, but it's Bits that tries to take over. Rain beats Tristan on the challenge, but Reticence tried to find Tristan downfield, and he went a little too far. Now Snipes trying to play this through, and boy, they both went right past the ball. Bits will try, didn't get anything behind it, and Reticence with a big power clear to send this all the way downfield, and that's a much needed break for the Akron defense. They're watching UCF try to scramble and erase yet another huge deficit. Rain out of the corner, trying to play that for himself, and Reticence intercepts Tristan, chasing and instead turns off the ball, and I think even Snipes was a little surprised. 
And I was definitely controlling, focused on controlling the ball there. Drips one down to Buzz. Rain has got to make a second save and he can't do it. Just doesn't have the time to get set again in the net. He made a beautiful effort at that. It's just he took him all the way to the back of the goal to get out again. And Tristan fires one into the top under the crossbar. I think he just put this one away. Rain will at least try to help UCF get back in it, but not when the ball is going well away from him. Tristan with a boost deal on his way back, and he's got an open net if he can turn on this in time after that great stop at midfield by Reticence. Now he's going to need Buzz to come up and help in the Ooh. shot. Just blasted wide. Reticence goes oh, nice. wide as well, and Rain just throws it up to his own backboard. Yeah, if you can't beat him, join him. Yeah, I think Rain got bumped there by Tristan and took him off his intended trajectory. However, it did mean Tristan didn't have a clean look at it either. So game three will come to a close. And game three definitely got a little out of hand. Not quite the same success as game two. And UCF, this is an 0-3 that doesn't do them many favors. Yeah. I think game one and two, doable. But like we said at the start, just not quite as many tools as Akron has. And it leads to the 0-3. Two thirds of this series was some of the most fun we've had all season in CRL. <laughs> then game three was Akron being Akron, and the Zips are now 12 and 0 on the season. Boy, what a performance! I mean, you look at just the uh, the sheer numbers in this series. Snipes with six goals, Tr Tristan with good grief eight goals all by himself. <laughs> Tell you what, we went from a defensive grind in the previous series to this was a shootout. This was a shootout. Central Florida, you deserve uh, maybe a game four, even if it couldn't lead to a win for you guys. I think they played well. They gave Akron a fight, but that's what UCF is there. You know, they kind of put themselves in that five, six, maybe top four spot. They're kind of the gatekeepers to the top three. If you want to go against those guys, you get through UCF. And this 3 doesn't show that, yeah. but they're that team. Well, no lead is safe against UCF in the East. No lead is safe against Texas Tech in the West. They're another team that refuses to go quietly, and they've got Long Beach State coming up right on the other side of this break.